Hey guys, it's Gaz here with Arrow Studio. We're on to the second part in this tutorial series for a phone gap stopwatch. Uh, last time we set up a pretty simple stopwatch. Uh, as you can see, we had stop, start, and reset. Uh, not really usable as a stopwatch, so we're going to be improving it today. Uh, to start with, I think we're going to want a separate reset button. Uh, so we want to split this button into two. I have the start and stop over here. Have reset here maybe while the actual stopwatch is running we have a lap button and um, I want to move this time up a bit and make it a lot larger easier to see and then as I said maybe when we hit lap we start listing the lap times here uh, I think that'll improve it so we've got a bit more JavaScript and a bit more CSS to do today so to start with, let's split this button in two. So if we go to our index file, you can see at the minute we've just got one button on its own. Uh, what I think we're going to want to do is create a div. And let's give this an ID. Nah, let's give this a class of button group. And let's put this button into here. So also paste it again, but change this ID to lap reset. And I guess its initial text can be lap. So let's just take a quick look at that. So we've got our second button here and our start button here. We'll style it up in a moment. Uh, so if we go to our index file, you see at the minute we've only got one click function. Um, so let's create a second click function where the reset code will go which will effectively return everything to zero, reset all the button states and stop our interval. Whereas at the minute, as you can see here, we're doing all this within the same click function. So we do click. Okay, so let's just put our stop code here. Now, when we hit stop start now, oh, I moved the wrong code. It's this text. So the stopwatch code goes into the lap reset, and our stop start function should either start the stopwatch or I guess, I guess pause it maybe. Yeah. So if we create a new variable up here called var is paused, and we'll set that to false. So if we're running and we hit the stop button, what we want to do is pause the timer. After that, we want to stop the run. So it's not running right now. And we want to set the button text. So this is going to be pause timer. And This button text will go to start. So we're just going to restart the timer at the current time that we're at. Oh. And our lap timer text, we want to change that to reset. Um, so, so if we're running, we hit the stop button, pauses the app, change our text buttons so we can either reset or continue. If we're not running, now what we want to do is start the stopwatch. If pause, continue, else new time. So if we're paused. 
we just want to unpause it. Is pause equals false. Else we want to create our new interval. Then we want to set is running to true. And then we want to update our button text. So this time this is saying this is going to stop. And we want to put this back so we can do our laps. Now, inside our lap reset button, every time this clicks at the minute, it's just going to stop the stopwatch. What we want to do instead is if it's paused, so if paused, reset, else take lap. So our stop code is going to go in here. And if it's not paused, the button is a lap button. So register lap and we'll do that in a moment so what we're doing here is clearing our interval we want to reset that is paused it's effectively we're in our start state again uh, this button we want to go back to lap and we want to set the other button back to start. What was that button called? Stop start. Start. So what we're doing is update our button text. And then after here, just reset time. What we also want to do is our timer itself. That's uh, just saying zero. Let's change that to 0, 0.00. And in here, we we'll change that again to 0, 0.00. Our stop start should be if we're running we're going to pause otherwise we're going to start or continue the reset button is either going to reset or it's going to be in a lap state so we're going to register a lap now our update timer so in here what we want to do is if it's not pause so we'll just put a not before that so if the app's running, then we want to register time. Otherwise, we don't. Now, let's just take a quick look and see what we've got. So we're going to start. So what we'll that button's here. Now, right now, that should do nothing. If we hit stop, that has changes to reset, and this changes back to start. So if we click this, this time here should continue. And it does, exactly as we wanted. So if we hit start, and now if we hit reset, this should change to zero. That should stay as it is, and that should change to lap. Yep. So if we hit start again, stop and reset. Already it's starting to feel a bit better. So what we want to do now is register some laps. So what we are going to do is we are going to create a new UL inside our index.html. I'm going to give this an ID of, I'm not sure, times, maybe list times, yeah, it feels a bit better, so list times, so what we want to do is register a lap, so in here we want to add an li every time, so we're going to append inside here, an ally with the current time we probably want the current lap as well won't we yeah I think so so up here 
So our lap, we're always going to start off on the first lap. I'm just going to change these, just in case I want to add a class later, just make it a bit easier. So in here, we're going to put in our lap, lap one, say, and then we're going to add How are we displaying it up here? We'll, we'll keep the same. So current time divided by 100, just to give it into seconds and milliseconds. That should do nicely. Then we want to increase our lap. So we know we're on lap two. And we also, when we reset, oh, reset. That should though. Let's just give it a quick try. So, ooh, now at the minute it's going to let us do this, and we don't want that. So, what we want to do is if it's not paused, so we only want to register laps. Whoops when the app is running. So if we refresh this, no. Nope. Oh, didn't work. Oh, if it isn't paused and is running, because obviously we set our is paused to false at the top. So now if we hit this, there's nothing. We hit start. We hit lap, we get 2.8, and it goes nicely. I think that works quite well. Now the only thing we are missing, I think, ah, we're also missing clearing this list when we restart. So what we want is this div here, we wanna just change the HTML inside it to nothing. So if we hit start, lap, 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 stop, reset, all goes back to the beginning. It's exactly what we want. Now what we want is to style it. Um, now, what did I say first? Maybe let's bring this up here so we've got a bit more space. Uh, yeah, because what did we do last time? We have a margin top of 200. And that's a bit too high. Let's just change that to maybe a hundred and increase this maybe to 50. I see, I don't think that's big enough. Let's try 70. See, that looks better. I think it's still a little too low down. So let's maybe change this to 50. Oh, that looks good. Now underneath here, we're gonna have our times. So let's get a couple of times so we can style it. Obviously we want to get rid of the default styling that comes with the UL. So we want to change our list style to none and our padding to zero. And that's on the UL. On the LI itself, let's try, we want a bit of padding. So maybe 10 pixels. Really want to give it a background color of kind of gray. Yeah, I can live with that. And I also want to give it a border bottom. Or maybe white. But yeah, that's pretty good. Now, when we do add the styling to the CSS, we will give this top one a border, just using the first child CSS. Uh, just to give it a border top. Uh, what we want to do now though is style this button group. Now at the minute our start stop button is positioned absolutely at the bottom zero. What we really want to do is take them away from that and put them into this button group. And the button group will also want a width of 100% and a height of 100 
pixels just to match our stop start. So the stop start is going to go width, so we want to change that to 50%. And this one I want to float to the right. That looks pretty good. I want to copy a lot of this styling straight over to our lap preset, but I want to float it to the left. And I want to change this background to maybe maybe a grey. Yeah, but I also want to change the colour to something dark. Yeah, what do we think about that? Start, lap, lap, stop. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. If you want to see what this border at the top looks like. So let's take these new stylings over to our CSS. So in our CSS, our timer is going to change first. We then created our UL. Now this app's only gonna have one UL, so I am more than happy to do this. list again we could have added a class but this app like I said is only gonna have one UL and one LI so I can live with this for now and so this is gonna be our buttons so this was the class button group and our other button lap reset it's going to need a class so this styling here just drop it straight in delete the commented out bits and same for our stop start. Let's just copy it straight over. So we've got our timer, we have our buttons, and we have our time list. No other styling we've missed out, is that? Well, of course, yeah, we need that top button, uh, top border, sorry. So we're going to do an li on the first child, and we're going to do a border top of one pixel, solid white. Let's refresh that and see what it looks like. So lap one does nothing. Start, yeah, it looks loads better, doesn't it? Lap, and there's our border. Lap, lap. Ah, I'm really happy with that. So yeah, so I think we're going to wrap this episode up here. Uh, we've styled it quite nicely. We've got our reset and our start. Um, and yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. In the next episode, we may create a start screen and maybe turn this into something where we can record the history of laps. So maybe we can have a little save button appear here. Maybe we'll also limit them to a total of maybe four laps. And then on our homepage, we can view fastest lap or... I don't know, we can look at some other things. But uh, for now, uh, this is here. Uh, this source is going to be in GitHub, so make sure you look at the description and do download it if you want to take a look. And if you want to check out our other videos that we're putting up, make sure you hit subscribe. And for any comments that you want down below, uh, I'll catch you next time, guys.